I think we're live. Woo, it's been a while. Let's see here. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Just getting back into the swing of things, back into the swing of things. Hello, Robert. Oh, it's been so long. Okay. So I got a lot of messages from people. Because was it last week that I skipped? all of those live broadcasts, just trying to get caught up, just trying to get caught up. And so now I am finally a little bit more caught up with my work and, um, and have some actually really good lessons. Uh, people have been writing to me, asking me for lessons on what to do if there's an emergency and how do you talk to the dispatcher when you have to call for help. So I have a lesson on that. Um, okay. Let me see here. Also, I've been getting a lot of emails of people asking me if I do one-on-one -on -one, uh, classes and tutoring. And I don't. I don't right now. I just don't have the time. Um, but maybe... Maybe I'll do a class with more than one person. So maybe if we get like a group of people together, maybe I'll do that. Um, okay. Hello, everyone. It's now 7.02 p.m. in Los Angeles, California. 9.02 a.m. in Vietnam. And uh, wow, 10.02 on the East Coast for you folks in Florida. 9 p.m. for you folks in Texas. Hello, everyone. We've got uh, Jimin Joe from Virginia, where it is uh, just after 10 o'clock at night. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, the United States is like under a blanket, a blanket in the middle of summer. It is so hot everywhere. Hi, Fat. It is so, so hot everywhere. Um, so I hope you're, you're staying cool. Like right now, it's hot. Because when I do this, I have to turn on all my lights. And then um, I turn off the vent that's in this room so there's not too much noise. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's, let's just stop the music for a second. Bring the music down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Now I'm whispering. Now I'm whispering. Okay. So how hot has it been? What do you know? Really, really know? Um, okay. You know what we're going to learn tonight? We're going to learn how to describe people how to describe people. This is important because if you're having any kind of conversation about someone else, you need to know how to describe them. And when we're describing people, there are like many things you can talk about, you know, how they look, you can even talk about how they talk, their sense of humor, maybe they don't have one. Are they smart? I, I, lots of ways to describe people. So we're going to practice uh, describing people using common adjectives. And then I'll throw in some ones that you may not know. Okay. And along with these common adjectives, we're going to learn about modifiers. So those are the words that help explain how. So if you say someone is beautiful, you can describe 
how beautiful, like very beautiful. Okay, so that word very is a modifier. Uh, just like in Vietnamese, right? Minh nói cao. Or you can say, rất là cao. Mm? Right? Or cao. I think there's other ways that Vietnamese, right, when, when we use adjectives. Like when we say, like if we say mập, it's just mập. But then we add extra words to make it more colorful. Right? Okay. So that's right. It's Labor Day, everybody. Labor Day. Happy Labor Day here in the United States. Hope you're enjoying your long holiday weekend. Hello, John. All right, you guys, let's let's get started because guess what? You have homework tonight. What? What? Homework? <laughs> that's right. You have homework. You have an assignment tonight. Okay? So when we describe people, you can describe their physical appearance, you know, the skin tone, I'm like, yeah, you their hair, you can describe their nose, their eyes, mouth, you can even describe their eyebrows. You can also describe their personality, la tinh tinh. Those adjectives are not so common. Right? And look, I even searched the Vietnamese because so often I end up asking, how do you say this? So I looked it up in Vietnamese. So you can describe someone's personality. Mm -hmm. We can say someone is sensitive. Sensitive. This word I knew in Vietnamese. Okay. Nhai gam. So sometimes they're, you know, yai khóc. Like my daughter is very sensitive. Like when I yell at her, all I have to do is look at her and she starts to cry. So my daughter's sensitive. Okay. Arrogant. Arrogant. Hmm. Do you know anyone who's arrogant? You know, um, they say, you look down at your nose, okay? You you look down your nose. You look down on someone, arrogant. I've always thought the Vietnamese might call that like hat. But I think hat is a little bit different. Hmm? So arrogant, giu ngao. Um, you can say someone is easygoing, like teacher Robert, who's on tonight, okay? Robert is very easygoing. He's very easygoing. He's so nice and easygoing. Bossy. This one I had to look up. Bossy. I think there are many different ways you can say bossy in Vietnamese. Hát dịch. Lần đầu tiên nghe đó, hát thì biết, đó, hát là biết. So, um, mấy người mà hay cứ là, like boss people around, okay, they're very bossy. Mm. Loyal, I like people who are loyal. Loyal is a great compliment. Like if I describe someone as very loyal, that's a good thing to a certain extent. Sometimes if you're too loyal, that's not good. When you're too loyal, là mình theo ai mà mình giống như là không có kể họ tốt hay không hoặc là những gì họ nghĩ hoặc họ làm là đúng hay sai mình cứ theo. Then that's not good. And then stubborn. Mm, stubborn. I'm kind of stubborn. I was stubborn growing up. Okay, so we can describe people, how they look, physical, and then personality. So for skin tone, okay, there are many ways that you can describe someone's skin tone. Pale. Pale. Are you speaking out loud right now? You should be. Nha, quý vị nói theo nha. 
pale, pale. Mm. See, I should have looked these up in Vietnamese too. Pale không phải là trắng nha, trắng white là khác. Pale that means not a lot of color, not a lot of color. Tanned. Oh, he's very tanned. Like I love to lay out in the sun. I love to sunbathe. So I like it when my skin is a little tanned. My mom hates it. Or dark. You can describe someone as dark-skinned. He's very dark. My kids, when they go out in the sun, they get very dark. Oh, wait a second. The modifiers at the bottom. Modifiers. So those are words that you add to describe how. Like if someone's dark, if you add a modifier, you can say incredibly dark. That means very dark, right? Very dark. Quite. Or a bit, hmm? a little, yeah. a hơi bị uh, like like my mom. Không có thích khi mà Lina phơi nắng. Yeah, hơi bị đen. So a little, a bit, very, incredibly. Those are all modifiers. And when you learn to use modifiers, your English instantly sounds better because it's more advanced. Instantly sounds better. Even if your pronunciation is not great, okay? Quý vị không có cần là phải phát âm chính xác, nhưng mà khi quý vị dùng được những cái, cái, cái từ modifier đó, your English instantly sounds better. Da ngâm, da ngâm, ngâm hay là ngâm, ngâm, ngâm. Hmm. Okay, hair. Let's describe hair. You can have brown hair, blonde hair. Uh, tiếng Việt mình hay kêu là uh, tóc vàng nhưng mà it's blonde, blonde, blonde. It's a little d at the end, okay? Blonde. Không phải là blonde, blonde. Or you can describe if it's curly. Or like my hair is wavy. Mm -hmm. Curly là nó vậy, còn đây là wavy. Because it's not straight. Okay, straight, wavy, curly. And again, use a modifier. Her hair was very curly. It makes it such a better sentence and it describes it more. Or you can say it was a bit curly, a bit curly. That means, especially if you don't like curly, yeah, a bit curly. It's okay. A bit curly. Incredibly curly. That's very, very curly. Okay. Oh, nose. Pointed. Pointed. Remember the P. P, P, P. Not B. Why? You're using your breath. Okay? So put your lips together P, and blow out some air. Don't use your voice. If you use your voice, thì nó thành chữ B. Okay? Blow. Blow, blow, blow. So, pointed, 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 nyon, pointed, or thin, oh, there's that th again, thin. Không phải the tin, a lot of Vietnamese won't do the th, and they say tin. Tin is a whole different word. Okay, so thin, put your tongue out, stick it out there. Come on, Robert, let me see you stick your tongue out. 
and then thổi, ok, hơi thở thôi. Thin, 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 thin. Get used to moving your mouth that way. And then flat, flat, ok. And again, if you use a modifier, then you really paint a picture. Yeah. Like that witch's nose was very pointed. Nhon mà nhon, dữ thật dữ. Very pointed. Okay. Eyes. Mm. How can we describe eyes? Well, you can describe the shape. Round eyes. Okay, round. Right? Or you can say they're small. You can say small eyes or big eyes. Big eyes. You know how else we can describe eyes? What if I said to you, he had these big, bright, blue eyes. Doesn't that sound great? It's very descriptive. Yeah, you could say he had blue eyes, but when you say he had these big, bright blue eyes, you paint a better picture. So you can describe the shape, the size, small eyes, right? Um, before, before everyone got so offended by everything, you could say slanted, okay? Nhất là người Á Đông mình nó slanted. Or they say almond eyes. Almond eyes. Cái hột almond. Quý vị biết không? Cái hột almond. Almond eyes. Okay. Uh, you can describe color. Blue. Right? Hazel. Some people even have gray eyes. Yeah. Beautiful. And then... You can, like, not just brown eyes, but light brown eyes. Hoặc là dark brown eyes. Right? And use a modifier. Make it something better. Make it more descriptive. He had these incredibly blue eyes. All right, personalities. Describing people's personalities. We talked about these. Sensitive, stubborn, loyal, loyal, loyal. Arrogant, arrogant, okay, bossy. She's bossy, okay, or stubborn, stubborn, or sensitive. So when I uh, do my public speaking training, I tell people that when you're telling a story, pay attention to the words that you're using. So all of these words I just used, okay? You can just say them or you can say them with a feeling that shows you what it means. Like when you say arrogant, you can say he's very arrogant. Arrogant. Hmm. Arrogant, right? Or bossy. Hmm. I can be bossy. So practice speaking that way. Other adjectives. Because what we've already talked about, the eyes, the hair, that's very common, very basic, and very simple. Have you heard of these adjectives before? Hmm? Lanky. These are adjectives where you don't even have to put a modifier because these adjectives are more descriptive. 
Like when you say someone is lanky, mm -hmm, uh, Việt Nam kêu là cao lêu nghêu đó, lanky, you know that họ rất là cao mà ốm nữa chứ không phải là cao thôi. Lanky, okay? Big boned. Mm, someone who's big boned. Okay? Cô nhớ như nếu mà mình mình nói tiếng Việt người mà to xương với là người mập đâu có giống nhau đâu. Right? Because she's very big boned. Slender. See, slender is a very positive adjective. Right? When I ask my mom, how do, how do you say slender? Okay. Mạnh mai. So it's it's positive. Đẹp. Right? Slender. Okay, fit. When you describe someone as fit, already in my mind, I'm thinking healthy. And someone is fit. Họ rất là mạnh khỏe. Không phải là muscular. Muscular. Mm, muscular. Where's that muscle? Muscle. Muscular là khác. Fit. You can be very fit without being muscular. All right? Uh, petite. Like my mom is petite. Petite. Okay, it's a stop T. Or petite. Petite. So she's short and she's small. She's very petite. So when we buy clothes, it has to be petite sizes. Okay. Uh, someone said skinny. Yeah, that's another adjective. Skinny. Mm. And then here are the other adjectives for personality. Okay. Moody. This is negative. Không có ai mà nói người đó moody mà người khác can đâu. Moody là just all the time just buồn rầu lắm á. Không bao giờ vui hết trơn á. Moody. He's so moody all the time. Or she's so moody. Humorous. Humorous. I had to ask my parents about this one too. Humorous. Người mà hay vui, người mà vui vẻ is khác, right? Còn humorous là khác nữa. Là họ hay, uh, họ thích kể chuyện vui đó vậy đó. Mm, okay, humorous. Humorous. Humorous and funny are similar. Similar. Mm. Funny is a very basic. Okay, humorous is a, I think humorous is a better word. Picky. Ooh, picky. Uh, picky, like uh, my daughter, is a picky eater. She's a picky eater. Okay, like gan ăn lắm. Không, you know, my son, cái gì cũng được hết trơn. But my daughter, she's a picky eater. Picky. Hơi khó, right? Uh, confident. That's a great way to describe somebody. That's very positive. So there's a difference between confident and arrogant. Arrogant is when they're too confident. Confident. She's a really confident woman. It's very positive. Okay. And then emotional. Mm, emotional. So you can be emotional, doesn't have to be bad. Mm, emotional. Like, mình, mình nói, nếu mình coi phim, uh, phim buồn thì mình dễ khóc lắm. Right? Mình thấy họ vui, mình cũng vui. Mm. So, đa cảm. That's different from moody. Moody is not good. And here are other modifiers.
Remember those words that dress it up more. Okay. These explain how. They answer the question, right? Somewhat. She's somewhat moody. He's somewhat arrogant. So that means, oh, he's a little arrogant. He's somewhat arrogant. Or kind of. Kind of. People use that a lot. Learn those two words together. Kind of. And in conversation, very often it comes off as kinda. Kinda. So it means, it means hoi hoi. So kinda, kind of. Super. Mm. Super là ja. Okay. Ja. Không phải là quá. Quá là too. T O O. Just like in Vietnamese. Okay. Lắm và quá thì nó khác nhau. Mm. Cái gì mà quá is no good. Cái gì mà lắm it can be okay. It can be good. So super is like lắm. Overly and too is too much. Hmm? Overly confident. Oh, oh, oh. Overly confident makes you kind of arrogant. Okay. So those are other modifiers. Um, yes, yeah, someone asked a question about being full of themselves, full of themselves. Yeah. And the full of themselves is more like the word stuck up. Stuck up is... Like not as arrogant is um, like is a more advanced word. Let me see if I can see. Stuck up is very casual. It's slang. Oh, she's so stuck up. It means she's very arrogant. Okay. Super see you. Okay, here is your homework. But it's not homework because you have to do it now. So this is what you need to do now. With what you've learned, with what you know, I'd like you to make up a description about me. With whatever you know of me. Some of you know me more than others. So some of you may know something that someone else doesn't. And then I want to get you on here so that you can practice some of these descriptions, okay? I'm posting the link. Nhớ nha, quý vị mà vào, vào cái, 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 um, cái live stream đó là phải turn off or turn down your YouTube sound. Okay, so let's see who's brave enough. Who's brave enough? TD says, I'm confident. Why, thank you. Thank you. That's, I think that's positive. Thank you very much. Um, so here is the link. So I, I posted the link. And um, Robert, if you're still on there, we'd love to see you again. And let's, let's make a, a plan for you to come on. Um, Tao says, you are strong. I'm strong. How do you know I'm strong? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my. Robert is using the altruistic. Altruistic. Who can who can translate that into Vietnamese? Mm. Robert, that's your homework. Translate that. I think you probably need a few words. 
Um, Lisa says, you are so fit. Oh, why, why, thank you. Thank you. It's the hula hoop, hula hoop. Okay. Um, okay, look at this. So Tina, I see you, but you're not connected. So I can't bring you on if you're not connected, Tina. So fix it. Tina, fix it. Roy, Mia, look at this. Oh. Hello. Ah, happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. How are you? I'm fine. A little bit tired. I thought you, today you have a little bit party <laughs> with family and friends. So. Oh, no. My, my husband had to travel. So we kind of did that over the weekend. But today's Monday. So we just relax. And okay. he had to travel. He had to travel today. So um, how are you? So are you going to uh, give me some descriptions? About you? Yeah. You are a beautiful woman Thank from you. the soul to the appearance. Oh. Thank you. Um and you have a big, big heart. Oh, I thought you were gonna say nose. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> well, this is all everything just have a one word you are beautiful woman thank you so much um so now i'm going to describe what i see okay this is just physically yeah me physically looking at you is your hair naturally curly yes oh i don't know <laughs> too many vietnamese have i just have... travel and then uh you know uh blow dry or come right. out. i just leave it like that i'm about to walk my dog out but I'm mm. suddenly turned on. So I got you. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I talk my dog. I tell my dog, can you guys hold on? I need to Oh, talk and, and what did your dog you. say? What did your dog say? I think they just say, okay, mommy, I wait for you. <laughs> okay, mommy. Or oh, wait too long. I'll give you a nice surprise. Um, well, thank you very much. And it's good to see you. I think you should go walk your dog. Oh, thank and, you so uh, much. I love your I love your hair. See, so my hair too is kind of wavy. Yeah. Like it, I, I never I, I never brush my hair. My mom yells at so me. So we're lucky, right? We lucky. Yeah, we're lucky. We're lucky. We're but you know, life is uh sometimes though we spend a lot of time to try to straighten it out, blow dry, right? right? Especially you celebrity. So you need to well, uh, I'll spend a lot of time to style when you meet people out there. But yeah. for me, working with the military, I just like tie my hair up and then whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, it's good to see you. Have a great good rest of your Labor Day. Yeah, good to see you. And thank you for having me on here. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, Lena. Oh, it's always fun to talk to her. Okay, I am seeing, I am seeing... Um, altruistic fit. Wow. Look at Captain America. You're like a supermodel. Wow. Thank you. Um, uh, Wynn is a three-time Emmy award winning journalist five times, but who's counting? Uh, who's counting? <laughs> thank you. Okay. We have a lot of, yeah. Oh, I'm kind and sweet. Hmm. Oh, kind. Kind is a good way to describe somebody. And sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm not just intelligent, but incredibly intelligent. Oh, now my nose is getting big. Now my nose is getting big. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, someone said um, altruistic. V V Ta or or did you miss a did you miss a note? A, a yo? Is that is am I saying it correctly? Kindness, like to help others. Oh. Altruistic. Wow, look at all of these. Look at all of these. Altruistic Langia V Ta V Ta. I've never heard that before. Thank you. Mm, thank you very much. All right, then. Hey, Robert, are you still there? Robert, jump on in. 
and someone is chatting me. Fingernail. Okay. Very kind person. Oh, I have beautiful wavy hair. Good job on good job on putting more than one word. I mean, putting these words together. So not just beautiful hair, not just wavy hair, but beautiful wavy hair. And then if you used a modifier, let's say if you said incredibly beautiful wavy hair. See, now you're painting a picture. Okay. So use those modifiers. Oh, teacher Robert says his hair isn't combed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So he's a little shy about coming on. Um, Robert, do you want to come on without your camera? Mm hmm. A little pressure, a little pressure. Okay. I see people on here, but I don't see their devices. So I can't, I can't bring you on. Cannot bring you on. Um, hello, Dun Kim Jung. Mm. Hi, everybody. Okay. So next time, we do a live stream and I get people on. I'd like to hear someone um, use modifiers when they talk. Again, that is something that is so simple, but it can improve your English a lot. Like right away, if you use these small modifying words, your English just sounds better. It's more conversational. And when people hear it, right, you just sound more native because that's how we talk. We don't, we use a lot of words together. We use words like kind of, right, a bit. A bit. No? Just see what? Kind of. Totally. That's another one. Totally. Hmm? So, oh, he's totally hilarious. Oh, he's hilarious. Oh, he's totally hilarious. So all of these words, learn to put them in your conversations. Okay. Oh, let me remove that. Um, okay. I want you to know that this Friday's lesson, okay, this, this Friday's lesson, oh, I already think I already have one planned, maybe next Friday, is going to be a very important one. And it's going to be about what happens when um, you're in an emergency? Oh, wait a second. Teacher Robert is with us. Okay, let me see his hair. Hi. Wow. <laughs> Your hair, since the last time we saw you on the air, is incredibly longer. Yeah, I don't think I've had a haircut since then. Really? Have you had this hair before? Uh, the longest, honestly, the longest my hair has ever been has been to my shoulders. Wow. How long and ago was that? That was about maybe 15 years ago. Oh. And my mom hated every single inch of it. I know. <laughs> my brother also had long hair. My mom hated it. She used to just... Each time she nhìn mặt, she thấy là she cứ là cứ cằn nhằn cái 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 đầu tóc. Nhưng mà hồi đó, in the 80s, guys with long hair, that was hot. Yeah. Right? My mom would always say, sao cái đầu tóc con làm mẹ muốn ói. Trời. Đi hớt tóc, đi hớt tóc. And then finally one day I decided to cut it. Uh. And she saw the short hair and she said, my son, come home. She said uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Okay, so what uh, can you think of any other adjective? Oh, wait a second. What's the your, the homework? The homework. So you are to come up with ways to describe me, and you know me well. You know me better than than everyone else here. Yeah. Yes. Well, <laughs> I don't want to make any assumptions about oh. other people who are watching, but uh, yeah, we've known each other. You know, <laughs> we've had our interactions. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's give let's get some descriptions. Like if you had to describe me to someone else, what would you say? Confident. Mm. I think that's a wonderful trait. Thank you. Um, especially for young women uh, who look up to you as a role model. I think that's a very important trait uh, to have. Mm -hmm. Successful if they know your career. Um, and uh, the fact that you are a good representative for the Vietnamese American community. Mm, thank you. Uh, and I gave that assignment to my students uh, a few weeks ago. And Oh, will you tell, will you tell our viewers about that? And if you, you know, uh, I don't know how many, I forgot to ask who's watching from Vietnam, but go ahead. Uh, so I, I wanted my students to select a notable Vietnamese American uh, to present. So I had a list of names and uh, what I actually did was I had the names on a, I guess it was a the spinning wheel thing and, and um, it was random. So whoever you got, you got, cause I didn't want anyone repeating or uh, you know, whatever. I wanted them to actually have the research. And the funny thing is the student in my class, whose name was Li Neng Wing, mm -hmm. she spun the wheel and guess whose name popped up. She got my name. She got your name. So um, we all laughed about that, but she was so proud um, when she researched because she knew she was named after you, but I'm not sure if she ever really uh, researched. Oh. And so with this project, it, it uh, you know, kind of pushed the kids, encouraged the kids to look more into the lives of Vietnamese Americans. Because mm. I know for myself growing up, um, I didn't have Vietnamese role models. Uh, I think Dustin Nguyen was like the only Vietnamese we knew on television. Right. On 21 Jump Street. But besides that, uh, there were no other Vietnamese unless you watched Paris by Night. But that was a little more, you know, enclosed in our community. Right, right. So yeah. We I, had some great presentations. That's nice. Um, I've had people, I've had um, people say, oh, I was named after you, you know, after like on Facebook or their mom would see me somewhere like on a program or something and explain, oh, we named you ap after her. So it's, it's really nice, but I always feel all this pressure to, um, to be extra good. <laughs> yeah. well, no one's named their kid Robert. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of Roberts. So, so there are a lot of other Roberts we can blame in case they don't turn out well. Yeah, I've, I think I've started noticing Vietnamese people with the name Robert lately. Uh-huh. Awesome. For the longest time, I didn't, I never met another Vietnamese person named Robert. Mm. So Robert, we're going to have to get you back on. Let's do a lesson together. Let's schedule it. Okay. And okay. then um, you can either come up with an idea or I'll get an idea from, from our um, viewers. Someone is asking, Thầy Robert có Viet first name không ạ? Tên là Robert. Tên Pháp. Tên Pháp à? Tên Pháp. Really? Không có có tên Việt luôn hay sao? Uh, well, ở nhà gọi là bè. <laughs> Nhị? Bè hả? Huh? Because, you know, like, Vietnamese, they kind of call their kids by the last syllable, like Jennifer, oh. like, uh, you know. Yeah, like Lina, Lina. I'm, I'm very kind of tan today. You are, you're, you're very, you have a lot of color. Yeah, I went to the, the uh, friends, oh, Kitty, oh, I went swimming with Kitty. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, you have a little color on your face. A lot of sun and a lot of heat. Mm. So, so no Vietnamese name. The tên trong nhà là bear. Bear or uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okay. Someone, someone asking. No. Uh, je suis né. Uh, je ne, je ne suis pas né uh, en France. Mm. I was not born in France. Mm. Mais uh, j'ai étudié le français uh, pendant sept ans. Pardon, more? Et à l'université. So, 
God, I love man, I love a foreign language. It's been a long time since I've uh, exercised my French muscle. I love f- when people can speak anything else. I I just I love it. Love language. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to get um, Robert back on a show. So we'll come up with an idea together, or uh, if you have at home. Um, a suggestion or um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Um, request, a request on what to cover. And then uh, Robert and I will will try to cover that. I'll, I'll have my hair combed. Bye. You have your hair combed? Oh, I mean, so so mm-hmm. why, why did you decide to um, have a different hairstyle? Just uh, for something you know, different? I, yeah, I, I prefer my hair short. But mm. I like to change my hair so I can change it back. I, I get bored with the same thing. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. So and and then I kind of don't have a choice right now. Well, I, I mean, who who doesn't? But uh, in October, I I'll be performing in the Elvis Festival. Oh, that's right. So, um, I'm I'm gonna kind of work the hair to work a little. Oh, nice. Did you see the Elvis movie? There was. Oh, amazing. wasn't it? Um, it was. It was awesome. You know, at some points, I wanted to scream like the like the audience <laughs> on the screen. And you know, when I saw that, I thought, "Wow, the you know, Kinala We we never saw him in person, right? Yeah. Like, what a performer, and just what a I, oh, that was yeah, that was something. Such what a nice great movie performer. Yes, and great mm-hmm. songs. Oh my goodness. There's so many songs of his that didn't make the movie, but if you just follow his uh, repertoire, oh my mm-hmm. goodness. Mm-hmm. Someone thinks you should have an earring. Oh, my mom will kill me. <laughs> Ever since I was a little kid, she said, no earrings. <laughs> a uh, lot of other things that she told me never to ever get. So, look, someone's sure. asking, whoop, uh, here, whoop, Robea. Huh. Mm. <laughs> uh huh. That's a very Vietnamese and French. Yes. Um, kiểu tóc của Robert tiếng Anh gọi là gì? Uncombed. Kiểu tóc này, I don't know what what do you call this. I I, I just showered and let it dry. Wash and wear. Out at dinner, and then that got canceled last minute. So. Oh oh. Um. Then mm. I decided not to get my hair done. Hmm. I don't know if it has a name. Some some haircuts have a name and some don't. Right? Like there's the one there's the bob, you know, for women who just cut it like this. There's you know, but not everything has a, a name. There was the Rachel. <laughs> yes, there was that? the Rachel. Mm-hmm. This could be the Robea, but it's not gonna last long. <laughs> so. Uh so in October, especially for anyone who lives in our area, tell us uh, where you'll be performing and when. What actually will you be doing? Oh, well, I was discovered when I was singing karaoke. Some friends had signed me up for karaoke, and the owner of the restaurant came out and she said, My goodness, you need to be in the Elvis Festival. You have a wonderful voice. Oh. So then I end up speaking to the coordinator of the festival, and she said, You can be part of our non Elvises. Oh. But the non-Elvis portion is only in the morning. And you know what? I do Sunday mornings. Mm-hmm. So um, she's, And then the longer we spoke, she found out that I was able to sing in Vietnamese. Uh-huh. And so are you going to be the Vietnamese Elvis? <laughs> I don't know about that. But I will be singing uh, two songs, one in English and one in Vietnamese. Oh. Uh, both Elvis songs. Oh. And uh, I get my own portion, my uh, own segment. Nice. So not only will I be singing those two songs, I will be uh, introducing some of my friends, the, mm. the original Glow Girls, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. Um, nice. I'm friends with the original ladies. And uh, we will also be introducing some rescue dogs because we want to make will also, you know, bring, bring on that cause as well. Mm. So, nice. So that's going to be on Sunday, October 9. Uh, on historic Main Street, as they call it, in Garden Grove. So that is, if you, if you know the the area Garden Grove, it is near Ciutat de Lat. 
Mm. So okay. maybe by my being there, there will be a, a whole new demographic that attends the festival. This is the yeah. 22nd year. Oh, nice. Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, someone is asking, Robert, would you be kind enough to sing one song for us? Right now? I yeah, he means right now. Thôi vài câu thì cũng được. Okay. Uh, I'm on the top of the world looking down on creation and the only, only explanation, explanation I can find is the love that I found ever since you've been around. Your love's put me at the top of the world. Beautiful. Nice. Love it. <laughs> love it. Practice, just off the top of my head. <laughs> Um, but if you want him to, if you want to hear him sing the Elvis songs, so the Vietnamese song is also an Elvis song that was translated. Yes, uh, it was translated by Pham Yui, actually. Oh yeah, mm, so, I love um, Pham Yui. And I, tr you know, his translations of because back in the '60s, it was really interesting. Um, a few years, several years ago, maybe over ten years ago, fifteen years ago, I found this old video on YouTube. It's black and white. It was an old program from probably early 60s. And Fem Yui was on this American program, TV program. Oh, really? And they were talking about Vietnamese folk music and introducing it to the American public. And he, I, he must have been one of the first Vietnamese people that Americans ever even saw. Hmm. Anyway, um, I decided to look it up and see if any of these guys are still alive. Uh, any of the, the 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 you know American hosts were on still alive, and one of them was, and I just found him somewhere online. I think he was teaching at a university, and I just sent him a quick message, and he wrote back. Oh, and then he sent me, he asked for my address, and he sent me, um, I think it was a little booklet that he had about Vietnamese folk music and how they were interesting to America, the American public, and uh, and it's somewhere in my boxes, but mm. um. I thought that was amazing. First of all, the fact that he wrote back, um, right? Uh, because that was a program that had aired, however many years ago. Uh huh. Um, That's cool. But I thought Fam Yui, you know, back then he translated so many American songs for into Vietnamese, and you know, his lyrically, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, it's uh some some people don't realize some of the uh, very popular songs were translated from other songs. Yeah. Right. They're not they're not um originally Vietnamese songs. French pop era. You know right, for the well, long, what? Longest time I thought Bang Bang was a Vietnamese song. I, I thought it was too. I didn't know that that was actually an American song. And then so I heard Cher do it. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. And then people thought people thought it was a French song, but it's not. It's an American song. Right? So yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, Robert and I will have to do another class together. So we'll come up with ideas on what we can teach. And somehow we have to try to figure out how to sing karaoke online again. Oh, it's been a while, huh? It's been a long time. I don't know if we're able to do it on YouTube, but Robert and I used to do it on Facebook. That's right. So, yeah, now my Facebook friends are mad at me because I don't go live on Facebook anymore. But um, but we do these karaoke parties just online and it was a lot of fun. So we should we should be doing that. We'll do because that again. COVID too, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. OK, uh, Robert, go ahead and say bye to our viewers. Bye, everyone. Chào các bạn, các anh chị em. Dễ thương không? And then, oh, uh, someone is asking for an address. Do you have? Do you want to look for the address? Oh, um, sure. Let me. Uh... Yeah. Why? So, so Robert's going to look for the address. So again, on October 9th, October 9th, uh, down in Garden Grove, right? You're going to see Robert on stage singing Elvis, both in English and Vietnamese. Are you able to tell us? Um, what song yet or no? Or is that a secret? Sure, it's, it's been printed. So um, cool. the, the song in English that I'll be singing, <clears throat> so my favorite Elvis song is Wonder of You. Mm. Which is uh, oh. it's one of the songs from the 70s. Mm. 
mm-hmm. but it was one of his last hits. And I just love that song. And then the one in Vietnamese is uh, It's Now or Never. Mm. But in Vietnamese. Oh, was that a, originally an Elvis song? Uh, you know, it was, I believe it was originally a, an Italian song. Oh, okay. And uh, they wrote words for it. I'm not sure if Elvis was the first to record it in English, but mm-hmm. he certainly made it a big hit. All right. So do you have the address? Um, almost. Let's, let's see. Let's okay. See. Stop Perfect. talking to me. Stop talking to me. <laughs> well, okay. So um, the restaurant where I was singing is on the same street. It's it's a small strip, so they close the whole street for the mm. festival. So uh-huh. the address of that particular restaurant is R- write it down, the- write it down, write it down on the oh. um, on your comments, and then I'll put it up on on the screen. Okay. Uh, okay. So one more time, this is for people who are local. If you can get to Garden Grove on October 9th, it's like this Elvis festival, and how awesome um, that uh, Robert is going to be on stage singing. Elvis songs. So that'll be a fun, fun time. Yeah, there was a a, a Vietnamese uh, newspaper wrote an article about me after seeing that article. In uh-huh. England. That's cool. And then um, I thought it was, you know, I didn't think much. I'm like, why, why, why are they looking to write an article about me? But I, the author of that, of that uh, article said that there was one thing in the article that stood out to him that made mm. him want to look into me more. And it was the part where I quit my job uh, to take care of my dad when he was mm. mm-hmm. that, that was something that is very Vietnamese. And um, it's something that not many people do anymore. Um, mm-hmm. but first, uh, but you know, mm-hmm. again, you only have one parent. That's, that's my one true. Dad, one mom, one dad. So um, now that my dad is gone, I just have my mom. So I mm-hmm. really, really cherish her. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, are you going to be dressing up as Elvis? No. So I'm, I'll still be non-Elvis, but I, I may do a little pompadour or something. Okay. Well, there, there's the address. See, that's why he's growing out his hair. There's the address. So it's 12 911 Main Street in Garden Grove. Uh, this is on October 9th. What time is the uh, festival and what time are you going to be on? The festival is from 10 to 6 p.m. And my portion will be between 4 and 4.30, okay. sometime around the 4 o'clock hour. Okay, so 4 p.m. Uh, October 9th. There's the address right there on, on the screen. Um, so if you're able to get there. Uh, and then, you know, when he's off the stage, come say hi. Introduce yourself. Let him know that you saw yeah. him um, on the English channel. <laughs> <laughs> just, just say hello. I, I, I love meeting people. Um, and, and even though I'm shy, no one believes me when I say that. But um, You're I, not I, shy. <laughs> You're not shy. I'm introverted. For, yeah. But yeah. Uh, Hmm. I get shy around strangers um, in, in, in big groups. Uh, when when I'm when I when it's my domain, like in a classroom, I'm I'm the one in charge. So, you know, I I can say and do whatever. But if let's say like I'm a staff meeting and I'm just one of the oh really flowers. <laughs> Interesting. So ever since I've met Robert, he's never been a wallflower. Wallflower là sao quý vị biết không? Quý vị có hiểu không? Là giống như là mình tới mình tới cái tiệc nào đó nhưng mà mình giống như là you just lean back and you don't make a lot of noise. You just kind of keep to yourself. He's never been that way. Never been that way around me. Um, okay, so Robert. Um, what's that? Because because you make me feel comfortable. Oh, well, good. We're friends here. We're friends. Uh, someone said, need zip code, please. Just look up Garden Grove, right? Uh, the zip is it code. 9294? 92840. 92840. Uh, 92840. Okay. Uh, yes, Robert does speak English very well. He speaks English very well. Okay. Okay, Robert, really good to see you. Love the hair. Can't wait to see what you're going to do for it for stage. We're going to do with it for stage. A lot of hairspray. 
a lot of hairspray. So again, October 9th in Garden Grove, the Elvis Festival. Robert's going to be on stage singing two songs, one actually in Vietnamese, the other one in English. So if you're able to come by, come by, say hello. Uh, let him know that uh, that you're coming from the channel. He loves to meet people. And um, we'll bring him back on here for a class. And, and the festival is free. So, you know, bring the oh, whole good. family. Free festival, everybody. Free, free parking. No, there's there's nothing charged except for food if you're going to buy food. Right. Ooh, and there's good, like, I love festival food. It's so I, bad for you, but I love it. I wonder if they're going to have, like, you know, Elvis's, like, the peanut butter and jelly and, and banana, whatever. I don't know. What was it? <laughs> Didn't he have a peanut butter and banana sandwich? Wasn't that his thing? Was that, ugh, I don't know, but that sounds yucky. <laughs> that sounds, sounds like something my husband would eat. <laughs> Ugh. okay i don't like bananas okay everybody thank you everyone for for joining tonight i'm sorry i have been so absent lately like people thought that i'm not doing the live streams anymore because i i didn't do them at all last week but we're back and we're going to do them with the schedule we're going to bring robert back on and we're going to try to figure a way uh, that we can sing yeah that'll be fun to see robert sing okay everybody Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, look how shy he is. <laughs> Very shy. Very shy. Good to see everybody. We'll see you on Wednesday night. Okay? Two more nights. We'll see you on Wednesday night for another live English lesson. And um, good night, Robert. Good night. <laughs>